good morning and happy Friday. I'm just getting ready. In fact, I think I'm done. I don't think I'm going to dry my hair. Hold on. Let me look at myself here. Oops, sorry. No, I think we're going to just go with looking wet this morning. I just don't feel like drying it. It's hot out. I don't want to hair dry. Make sure I get once over of myself here. Uh, wait. I need shoes. You know, the other day, where was I going? Where was I going? Now, let me think. I forget. I was going to meet someone, but I had a bunch of stuff in my hand. I get downstairs to the car in the garage, and it was like when my feet hit the cement floor in the garage, it hit me that I didn't have shoes on. So I almost went away with no shoes. So, shoes. Okay. So, shoes. And we are headed to... Oh my God, Michelle, get the shoes on. We are headed to market and the fish store. So I'll take you along. <laughs> Market. I thought I'd show you what I got. I also went to the fish store. Um, I was doing some footage, as you just seen, through the farmer's market, and I got to the vegetable stand, which is where I stopped. And I'm standing there, and I kept hearing this. Well, first of all, I ran into a girl I went to high school with. So we were chit-chatting, and, and she walks around the other side of the stand, and I start hearing this, Michelle, Michelle. And I looked across at her, and it wasn't her calling me, but... I looked around and like I didn't see anybody but um, I'm supposed to wear glasses and I hate myself on glasses so if anything that's more than like 10 feet in front of me just is furry like fuzzy I can't see so finally this girl comes up to me that had been yelling my name well here it was someone that I used to work with at the travel agency back when I was a travel agent so she was sitting there, there was, a, there was a little restaurant in the market, and she was sitting there yelling my name, but obviously I couldn't see her, she was too far away. And she was waiting for her husband, who was at the chiropractor. So I literally sat there for an hour and talked, and, and they had breakfast, but I didn't eat anything. Um, I sat there and talked with them while they had their breakfast, and oh my god, it was so good to catch up. But yeah, now it's like, I left here, I was at market at like 8.30. It's like almost 11 o'clock, <laughs> so 
I had to have been sitting with her more than an hour then, because it didn't take me another hour and a half to buy my stuff and go to the fish store. So it must have been like a, an over an hour, hour and a half that we were sitting there talking. So it was so nice, but I had already bought my meat, my steak, so I sat there like for over an hour, but it's fine. I'm sure it didn't spoil. So anyway, this is what I got from Market. So I picked up some red leaf lettuce and some iceberg lettuce, a pound of cherries, these are those pickling cucumbers I was talking about in one of my other videos. They're cucumbers, but they're the kind you use to make pickles. But I love them to snack on. Oh my gosh, just to peel those and eat those like just with salt on them is so good. I got a whole pile of cherry tomatoes, grape tomatoes, some mushrooms, the filet mignon that I need for steak when Caitlin is home. And then the fish that I'm going to make for my family on Sunday, um, I got some tuna, tuna steaks, some cod, some tilapia, and then I also got two soft shell crabs. Now to tell you how fresh these soft shell crabs were, I showed them in a previous video. If you don't know what a soft shell is, it's a Maryland blue crab that has molted its shell so it's all soft. And you prepare it and just eat it. like like everything, the swimmies, the, the legs, the anything that's on the shell, the whole works because it's soft, you eat the whole thing. They were that fresh that they were still alive when I got there. Normally when you get soft shells from a store, you're buying them um, that they were already cleaned and frozen and they're thawed out for you to, to make. But these were still alive. Like I walked over and looked at them and their legs were doing this. Now they were cold, mind you, so they weren't, they were on ice, so they were definitely slow. So I asked him if he would clean them for me because I, I can't, I can't, not when they're still alive, I can't kill them. I need my, my food on them already killed for me. Oh, it's a wonder I'm not vegetarian. But anyway, two soft shells and they are so super fresh. But since we're not eating them until Sunday, I'm going to have to freeze them. So that's it for my haul. I already had my little pup out. He's waiting for me to like give him food or love or something. He just come and stare at me. Cause he's so cute. You're so cute. Yes, you are. You're so cute. Okay, go to the hot chicken sandwiches with gravy. <sighs> it's Friday. And I'm getting to spend the rest of the weekend with my husband, so I'm so thankful that I'm finally not working and get to have my weekends home with him. It was rough not having any days off together for two and a half years, so he's finishing up some work on the Jeep, and then we're going to pretty much just head to bed early since we have to get up real early tomorrow to go to my mom's to babysit the dog. So me and the little boy are just hanging out here on the deck. It's a beautiful evening here in South Central PA. Finally, the wind calmed down. So other than getting some food and everything packed up to eat tomorrow, I'm just relaxing tonight. So um, I'll take you along to spend the weekend with us, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.